Welcome to Red V TV, supported by A Star Recruitment for the 2022 season as we continue our pre season player previews. And today, Kevin, it's only a fortnight until we launch the new campaign against the Catalan Dragons. So that means it's Joey Lossi. We didn't even plan that one. No, it's good that. No. Joey Lossi, then, Kev. Um, Proudly sponsored by Bailey's Landscapes for the 2022 season. Um, he had a good couple of years at Salford, and that's probably what's got him the gig, hasn't he? Yeah, um, looked really good for them, didn't he? Um, came over and worked alongside Jackson Hastings, who he's been mates with uh, for a couple of years. Uh, well, a good couple of years. I think they played for Aussie Schoolboys together. Um, and... Obviously, we're in the. We look like we're in the market for a, a hooker. We had Josh Eves and Aaron Smith at the club last season. Eves has gone on to Newcastle, I think it is, and and Smith's on a season long loan at uh, at Lee. Um, and it, I think we just needed that step up. That that someone who who kind of had the, I'll say, trust of the the head coach to be able to start games and make a difference coming off the bench. Yeah. Obviously, with this likely to be James Roby's last season, um, it almost felt like this was the year that we had to get a hooker in who was likely to be our first choice one next season. So we've got that bridge for the for the 2022 season. Um, so the handover of power or shift of power, as it may be, won't be such a massive drop-off next season. Um, obviously, mm -hmm. we can't have that many hookers at the club. And Aaron Smith has gone out on loan. And normally in the past, when players leave the club on loan until the end of the current contract, that sometimes signals the, the end of their career at the club. But could we be in a position next season where, obviously, Joey is our starting nine with James Roby retired and Aaron Smith has a good year uh, down at Lee and then comes back and signs a new deal if he's happy to take the backup role once again? Um, I don't think you can rule that out, can you? I really don't. Do you, think, um, do you think we'll have to sign a, a hooker next season if Roby retires to back up Joey? It depends how if Taylor Pemberton continues to um, continues to push on. Um, you'd almost say he, he's technically third choice hooker Pemberton. Technically, whether he'll get game time this year, I don't know. Um, and we might end up putting say Morgan Knowles into that nine position, which I don't particularly like, but it, it might be more of a more of a shout if we have to. Um, but I wouldn't rule the Smith thing out. The, the, the thing is, Joey Lussick's obviously come into the club. He's got he's got NRL experience. We saw in Alex Walls' testimonial where he, he made a break that eventually led to Tommy Makinson's try that he's got a bit about him. And I don't think we spoke enough in our uh, instant fan reaction about Lussick and how he, he looked to kick from dummy half like Roby has done over the past couple of years. Uh, he looked to scoot. And that was one of the criticisms that I had from our backup hookers, that they didn't seem to kind of play what was in front of him. They'd take the ball and kind of just, just shovel it out and not actually look and think, well, you know what? I can make 15 metres here. I can make 20 metres, which saves me props a run or saves me forwards a run and gets us in better field position with quick play, and we could be on onto something. Um, I know he's only played, what, 40, 50, 60 minutes for the club so far, but I think he could well be the astute signing of the off-season for us. Yeah, obviously you mentioned that we, we didn't talk about him probably at all in the instant fan reaction um, after the league uh, win last week in the testimonial, but maybe that says more the fact that we didn't have that massive drop-off when James Roby went off the pitch. I think in recent years, we've always had that concern that when Roby goes off, we just we, we lose that speed at the play of the ball and um, and in our attack. But with Joey, we didn't see that as much. Listen, nobody's going to be James Roby, but he showed flashes in his spell on the pitch that shows he could be a really good player for us. Yeah, and I mean, you're right about him starting um, a lot of games as well. I, I don't think we're going to... We don't necessarily need to risk James Roby in some games. We can give Roby the week off. And if you do want to kind of go with the bigger bench, um, 
you, you can you can afford to do it with with Joey Lussett playing eighty minutes. Um, I know Salford fans were gutted that he wasn't going to go back to them, and he was coming over here, and they were lauding it as a as a great signing for Saints. So hopefully, all that um, all that noise on social media and, and from other sets of fans um, kind of all rings true. And I think that that's a really good point, Kev. Obviously, Salford uh, fans were gutted that he hadn't gone back to them. I think we've again spoken in recent years, like with no disrespect to to Aaron Smith. Um, how many other Super League teams would he have uh, have got the gig for and started at, at, at nine? And the answer is probably not a lot. And that's no disrespect, but again, it's probably been reflected by the fact that he's now playing in the Championship um, for 2022. Whereas you could probably look at Joey Lussick and there might be at least eight or nine teams in the league where he'd have a real good shout of being their starting number nine at this moment in time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think he is one of them, the players that, because we, we, we've we had a history over the past, well, good couple of years of having two hookers. So you have Cunningham and, and Roby coming through and, and kind of one plays the first 20 minutes and the other one comes on and, and brings a different threat. And as you say, we, we've kind of not had that. I think we'll go back to, and we'll speak about this a little bit more when we talk about the prop forwards as well, where... Remember when we had Luke Thompson and Alex Walls as our starting props and then Matty Lees had come on and that intensity stayed up? That's obviously what we're looking at this time, that if Lusick is going to come off the bench or he's going to start in place of James Roby, you don't really notice that James isn't on the pitch anymore. And that transition can happen more naturally um, to, I hate saying these words, James Roby, the end of James Roby's career. If James gets a good rest in 2022, do you dig him up for 2023, like Sean O'Loughlin? Uh, well, that's it. A lot of the noise is this is his last season. But would again, would you really, would you rule him out going round again? If if he if he like plays, I don't know. If he gets 15 games in this season, and we can like rest him for quite a few and. Well, I say 50, 15 to 20 games and we can rest him for quite a few and he doesn't quite play, doesn't have to play 80 minutes. He can play like 40 or 45 or whatever. I could, I could, I could see him if he's wrapped up in cotton wool, like rolled out for the big games. I definitely could see him going round again. The question is, would you want him to go round again? And, and considering that James is only 39 appearances uh, away from the all-time record set by Kel Coslett of 531, uh, James is on four nine two. If he's five or six games short, there's got to be a temptation. There has, hasn't there? Right, there Kev. Has. I'll I'll snip I'll slip this bit out and we'll put it into James as well. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Good idea. I'll I'll wear the same top. <laughs> Seamless. Right. I think that is Joey Lussick done. Um, and again, I. We've spoke about James Roby because I think that's the important influence that Joey's going to have. Yeah. yeah. Right. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you tomorrow to continue the build up to the new season. Catch you soon. <laughs>